today is the second day in a row of kind of rainy weather. We're gonna have a we're on a gray rainy day today, but it's seven degrees, not bad. Still can take your dog for a walk. Yep. The next five days after that are getting into trouble weather. Normally that would be a good thing, but I'm serious this time. This will get people into trouble. Wednesday, 10 degrees and sunny. Thursday, 11 degrees and sunny. Friday, 10 degrees and sunny. And Saturday, 11 degrees and sunny. Oh, no, no. Please don't get in the trouble. Don't do it. Yeah. And yeah. Don't use this as an excuse to go out and have picnics and, and frolic about because we saw that on Sunday when it was really, really nice yeah. out. Yeah. The lakeshore was absolutely out of control. It was irresponsible. And now the cases have gone up and we have to stay inside. And I don't want to well, sound like your mother, but please just stay inside. Here's the thing. No matter what, I know. Um, the cases are going up. I and know. it's good. This, week, this week's going to get really, 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 uh, from what I understand, from the modeling and from what Ontario Health is yeah. saying, yeah. these next two weeks are going to be really rough. And so I hope that you look at what happens or what is happening and you go, you know what? I get it. The, the cases yeah. are going to yeah. start to double, guys. Yeah. It's going to start to get crazy. So, with that in mind, there is still a good time to be had. Yes, there is. In physical isolation, which is what we are, which is hopefully what you're doing. Um, we're going to do a little thing called Tell Me Something Good. We're doing that at 6.08. We've got something called Frontline Friends, where yes. you can hook your friend who is working on the front line somewhere. We're talking about somebody that has to go into work. If they're going into work, they're on the front line. I want to know, uh, we want to know exactly what they do. Triple, sorry, uh, 999virginradio.ca. Crave, crave membership and $100 to Uber Eats for that. Nice. And let's check in with everybody. TJ, what's on your mind? We're going to address the elephant in the room. Yes, my quarantine is getting gross. Oh, I like it. I'm growing a quarantine goatee. And I am very close TJ, to shaving it up. <laughs> TJ, can I just say that you're only growing a goatee because you can't grow the sides of your beard? Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Like, let's clarify it's an, that. Oh, it's not by choice. Yeah, it's an unintentional goatee. But <laughs> yeah. I like it. I don't mind it. Yeah, I, don't mind. I don't know. I, can't. It's, I don't, like, you, you have to... I have to look directly at it, so I don't love it. Jax? Yeah, sorry. What's up with you? Oh, I thought you were asking me how I felt about no. the beard. <laughs> Not. Um, I, I want to give a shout out to Burberry. Uh, they are making over 100,000 masks to give to workers in the UK, and they're also making uh, surgical gowns and and more masks for uh, for patients, and they're all Burberry like style, so oh. they're quite fashionable. I love them. Love that. So Producer Jesse, it's going to happen again. We need something positive in these dark times, and Thursday at midnight, Drake's gonna release a song Stop that's it. gonna really? own the summer. Oh. It's called Set? Tootsie Slide, uh -oh. and it comes with a TikTok challenge. Uh oh, biggest hit oh. single we're ever gonna see. Really? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the weekend learning it. Have you heard it? A little bit. What? How? What? You have the audio? It's okay. It's okay. The song's kind of the best song I've ever heard. Okay, oh, now he's lying. oh, stop it! Really? <laughs> and you're a big Drake fan. It. How do you have the music? Can we play the it? word. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Thursday right. at midnight. You're All right. right. Jesse. You're the worst. So, at least <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting a new Drake song, and it's going to be 11 and sunny on Friday. Okay, that's, uh, that's yeah. a recipe for disaster. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, it's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Good morning. Right now. Ontario has extended the state of emergency until April 14th. Doug Ford told reporters yesterday afternoon at Queen's Park that his order will be extended for another two weeks beginning, obviously, today. And for another two weeks after, if necessary. So don't forget about that. Apparently, uh, states of emer emergency are only in two-week periods. Yeah. So this yeah. is more just like a, a, a formatics type thing. Nothing really has changed. In other news, is Courtney leaving Keeping Up with the Kardashians? Don't. Oh, man. This also, is huge. What a, what a right turn I just took, eh? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, wow. Well, let's, you know what? Sometimes we need a little not important news, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, unfortunately, this is very important. Oh, On course. Twitter, a fan called her out saying, quote, Courtney just needs to quit the show. I'm over her not wanting to film. And Courtney responded, I did. Bye. Uh-oh. Now, the girls are mad. The girls are mad. He hasn't confirmed her departure yet. And it's hard to trust any drama involving the Kardashians. Yeah, I don't know if you followed their history over the last fifteen years, but this will definitely boost their uh, their profile, and people will watch the season more now, which you, is just a shame. You know what, guys? <laughs> you guys have convinced me. Fine. Now that I've just wrapped up Sex in the City, I'm gonna watch all of the show in its entirety, keeping oh, up with the Kardashians. No. Fine. No. You pulled my that arm. Would be a lot of TV. You know what? Be a I lot have. Of literally nothing else to do so <laughs> it would be timing. a lot of a lot yeah Oof, i'm ready yeah. baby i'm ready uh, apparently this is all supposedly due to the fallout of a fight she had with kim on last week's episode so yeah we'll keep you posted on that right and the tiger king documentary ah. one that everyone is absolutely obsessed with right now has sheriffs asking for tips on the cold case 
of Carol's former husband. Hmm. Now, if you've watched the show, Joe Exotic seems to believe that she fed him to tigers. <laughs> and Hillsborough <laughs> County Sheriff Chad Cronister has latched on the social media uh, due to the heat generated from the show. Yeah. And he's looking for any information that could solve the 1997 cold case surrounding Jack Don Lewis, whose disappearance was featured prominently in the show. And she does not like how she was portrayed on that show. No, she doesn't. Although, honestly, if you look at it from the filmmaker's perspective, how could she be portrayed any different, right? Yeah. It's sort of like, what else could they have done? They had to explain that side of the story. They at least gave her a little bit of time to be trusted. Like, at first I trusted her, and mm-hmm. then I knew about her shady past. Yeah. And alleged shady past. Mm-hmm. Alleged, alleged shady past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. You gotta say alleged. Yeah. So she allegedly fed her husband the tigers. Yeah. But we don't know. And that's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thanks. We are, we are, we are. We are not beautiful. Tell me something good. Man, do we need to hear it. Man, do we need to hear it. Okay, so TJ, you're going to start us off today. What's your good story? I want to give a shout out to a medical fetish website. Oh, here we go. Okay. (laughs) Who donated their entire stock of scrubs to a hospital. Love that. MedFet UK were contacted by the National Health Service in the UK, and they were trying to find more more supplies for hospitals across the country, and the company didn't identify which hospital, but they sent a few sets of scrubs that they had into a hospital located in the south of England. So no kidding. Shout out to medical fetish websites hey, doing their it. part. If you got them, got them, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know Jess would play doctor actually helps someone. It's hey, nice. It's great. Go. That's great. Producer Jesse. I want to shout out Exo House. So Lamar Taylor, who's the weekend's mm-hmm. creative director, mm-hmm. runs Exo House. And he was he was thinking about how artists also during this time aren't making money. Yeah. So he set up the TO Artist COVID-19 Response Fund, which is for Toronto artists currently not making any money. Yeah. And they'll help fund them through this difficult time and kind of supplement their income. That's, That's awesome. cool. Yeah, That's so really shout out Exo House for that. The Exo wow. House has been really good since day one, like since the start. It's been really, really good to artists in Toronto and all over Canada. It's been great. I love that. Uh, I would like to shout out Little India Restaurant, who is offering free meals to those in need. They said, we love our community and we are not here to judge or verify each individual and their losses. Uh, instead, we're trusting community members and focusing on how much of a difference we can make for, with supply and the budget that we have. So Little, Indi- Little India uh, has a uh, pickup only location at 255 Queen Street West on their storefront. And they said, we're willing to serve you as long as we, we have supply. So if you're that. listening wow. to this yeah. awesome. and you're, you're worried about that sort yeah. of thing, take advantage of this. Mm-hmm. Take advantage and go get yourself something great to eat because the food's amazing. So good. And grab extra naan bread. And which is my favorite of all time, and enjoy and thank you, Little India Restaurant, because that is incredible. They said they will serve you oh, as long wow. as they have the supplies to do so. Awesome, Jack. Love it. I want to give a shout out to Seneca College. They've uh, donated over 900 kilograms of essential supplies. So what they did is they chose three GTA hospitals, uh, including South Lake Regional Health Center, North York Regional, and uh, Markham Stovall Hospital. Um, they're giving ventilators, surgical gowns, N95 respirator masks, and mask fit testers. Amazing. They're just they're giving so much to all these three hospitals. That's so great. shout out to Seneca. I love that. That's, That's cool. Really yeah. cool. And if you've got a good story, especially about somebody who you know, we want to add them to Frontline Friends, meaning you tell us their story at 999999 or through 999virginradio.ca and we can hook them up with three months of Crave and a $100 Uber Eats gift card. That's in just under an hour at 7 o'clock. So make sure you tell us who the hero in your life is so we can hook them up with a little ah, decompression. Virgin Radio. TJ and Jax on 99.9 Virgin Radio. You guys... Pitbull has released some coronavirus music. Good. You know what? I was actually thinking last week, I really hope Pitbull does something within the next well, seven to ten days. Listen, yeah. okay, so we all make fun, but Pitbull is notably, notably around the industry, one of the nicest people. Yes, that's and extremely true. Extremely positive. Yeah. It doesn't make it not a little bit funny <laughs> when your overly positive friend feels like, you know what, I need to do something positive when no one was really asking for it. Yeah. You know, you got your friends on Instagram right now who are like, it's my time. It's I need my, to step is, up. This is my yeah, time. Yeah, and Pipple yeah, is, yeah. is one of those friends on Instagram. Now, he released a little bit of a, a song here. Now, Jackson, TJ, I want to know what you think 
of this song. And we've never heard any no. of this. No, you've you have not heard this. How I honest, have heard this. How honest can we be? Yeah, be very honest. Okay. <laughs> I believe that we will win is the name of the song. By the way, scientists also believe that we will win yeah. against coronavirus. Eventually, we got to get a vaccine. Yes. We got to take care of people until then. But Pitbull agrees with those scientists, and that's why he released the song. made a song. Luke, can you play the song for us? If there's any time to check in for the world, it's right now. Now is when we take fear, and it's not forget everything and run. No, it's face everything and rise. And this right here is a world anthem called I Believe That We Will Win. Right here is to motivate the world. And with that said, I want y'all to stay healthy, stay safe, and stay blessed. Bottom line, no matter what, face everything and rise. I I don't mind it. I think it's catchy. And you know what? That sounded like a WWE wrestling no, promo video. To say, he's to, Mr. 305 is trying to help out, guys. He's yeah. nice. No, I don't mind that at all. I, Good for you, Pitbull. I love Pitbull the guy. Yeah. I just think I don't think we needed yeah. that. I know. <laughs> Nobody's waking up today and being like, thank you. I needed this. Wow. But you know what? Maybe Thanks, Pit. Maybe... Nobody calls him Pitt. But maybe somebody Most will wake up and hear that and be like, this is the motivation I need to get through this cloudy Tuesday. You know what it sounds like? You know when you're watching like the Super Bowl or some sporting event yeah. and right before they go to the commercials, they play like a small clip of like <laughs> yeah. pump up music? Yeah. yeah. That's what that sounds like. Yeah. 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 I, Except there's no sports on, so it just sounds ridiculous. Listen, <laughs> I think you guys are wrong. I think that Pitbull is the is the change that the world needed. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> this is Virgin Mornings with Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax on 99.9 Virgin Radio. We're about to go live on Instagram, so if uh, if you want to check out Virgin Radio Toronto on Instagram, Jax is going to read everybody's horoscopes as yeah. she does every single morning around 6:30. So yeah, lucky us. Yeah. Most of the horoscopes are like, hey, you may have to stay home and be productive. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Maybe <laughs> yeah. I won't do horoscopes today with that attitude, boys. No, but you Woo. will because we need it. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. We do need content. We do, we do that's need true. to know. Also. Um, we want to talk about this. Everybody in the world, pretty much, everybody in the developed world has got access to the internet, media, whatever, knows that we have yeah. a pandemic on our hands. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. Or at least you would think that they've been informed. There are some people in the world that still don't know. And it's interesting because they have all the things we have. They have phones, they have internet, they have yeah. apartments, they have whatever. And those people are guys who work on submarines. The women and men who work on submarines apparently do not know right now that there is a global pandemic How? going on. Well, because of, so apparently they can, submarines can go out. This is a crazy article that, yeah. uh, that went, yeah. so they, okay, you go out for like 60 to 70 days. So it's about two months and two months and a yeah, week, yeah, you know, yeah. give or take or whatever. So if they left at the end of February, which, you know, many do, yeah. you're out on that mission. You do not have access to a phone. You do not have access to television. You get nothing. You get no internet, no connection to the outside world because the whole idea is, I, I guess the psychology is that they, they want you focused on the mission. Yeah. And they don't want you to, to connect with the outside world and miss it. So you're not, so you're distracted. They want you there. They want yeah. you mentally there yeah. and only there. That makes sense. So they, they're they saying, they're speculating, and this is an article where they were talking about the French Navy in specific, specifically. Mm -hmm. Anybody that left at the end of February is going to come back at the end of April to a complete, like, think about the difference between the imagine? end of February to now. Wow. Oh, you know Add another month to that. Oh, you know what's going to suck? Like, I'm sure by the end of it, too, you're starting to think, like, oh, I can't wait to go up and, like, just go eat nuggets at the yeah. McDonald's or go get wings with the guys. Have a beer. Have a beer, yeah, and you pub. can't do any of those things. Watch a game. Home. Like, yeah. all the, all the you know, especially, like, all the all the hockey, all the basketball, all the, yeah. all the soccer over there has been canceled. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. And here's the, the other thing. The, the captain of each of those vessels would have, they said, he would have been informed. However... Yeah. He wouldn't have been given much in the way of details. So yeah. let's say you're, you're communicating with him. You just say, yeah, we got a bit of a health crisis. That's it. So wow. imagine you're the captain and you're like, I can't share this with my crew yeah. and I don't know anything about it because I'm, I'm not allowed. I'm curious to know, though, because like, for example, Big Brother, they finally set them free last week. I guess their mission wasn't that important. Yeah, Big Brother um, Canada, right? Yeah, Big Brother Canada. Yeah. They were they were set free. But like, can, would you feel slighted if you came out of that being like, they didn't tell me that this was happening? I mean, happening. I think you're sort of set up with those expectations. Yeah, now. yeah, I guess but, so. But... But that's the thing, right? Wow. It's because, because, you know, those guys have families and that yeah. sort of thing too. Yeah. Like yeah. women and men, they've got families. So I'd be mad. If you told, if you didn't tell them yeah. or if you did tell them, 
how are they ever going to focus on what you're supposed to be that's doing? True. Yeah, so that's true. So it's a it, it makes sense, but it's kind of crazy. So you can imagine they're literally going to walk out of a time capsule, which on a normal in a normal year wouldn't have mattered that much. This year matters big time. It's going to be kind of crazy. Maybe big they time are better shot. off than us. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they, they might, are. Maybe. I, w- yeah. I wish I was in a submarine. Yeah, we just moved the show to a submarine. All right. mm, I like that. Yeah, mm. I like that. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. So you might have missed this, but HQ trivia. Went down, and now if you forget, this is the HQ, app, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the app where you would go on, and like you and people around the world would answer trivia questions, and then the winners would end up winning usually a small amount of money. Yeah, HQ Trivia ended up going broke and going under, and then their last broadcast, the two hosts got really drunk, and were just playing for fun, and were just being ridiculous. Well, the massively popular trivia game is coming back, uh, just in time for quarantine. And on Sunday night, after ups and downs, cancellations, and all yeah, that stuff, yeah. uh, they put out a push notification on people's phones announcing that the game is going to return for a live event, a live event at 9 p.m. And host Matt Richards confirmed that the show is going to be returning each night at the same time. Now, is he the original host? Because I know the original host went on to work at like the MLB Network. Or yeah, no, like it, they've changed a bunch of hosts. Okay. Yeah, they've changed a bunch. Because he um, was good. He was th- really, he was really wonderful. Good. Yeah. I hope that they do all their broadcast drunk. It was quite funny. <laughs> it, it, was, actually it was quite was. entertaining. Yeah. yeah. And the best part was they uploaded it on their like official YouTube channel. Yeah. They were like, look what we did. Well, <laughs> this is the perfect time for them. To, this they should be thriving right yes, now. This is their yes. opportunity. It makes sense. So I guess they got funding from another investor, and that's why they've been able to relaunch the Good app. for them. Facebook is working on a coronavirus reaction button. Oh, okay. You know how you can do, like, laugh, wow face, sad, angry, that type of thing? Well, now you can do coronavirus. Uh, it's working on a puzzling reaction button for the coronavirus era, and it's going to be a COVID-19-themed button. Can I ask why? Why not? Yeah. Okay. All right. Listen, you can have emojis for bad things, too. Yeah. Okay. I just think, like, my grandparents have a hard enough time reacting properly to photos on Facebook. Yeah. And now, like, I'm going to put up a photo of me in my apartment, and they're just going to be like, COVID. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nana, stop. She's like, I don't know what it means, but I love it. It's green and colorful. <laughs> That's what's trending on TJ. Thank you, TJ. Just after 7 o'clock, we're launching this thing called Frontline Friends. Yes. We'll have a little bit more detail for you coming up. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Because it's just so great. Now, so one nice. of the things we want to tell you before we get into our great news stories is that you can honor one of your friends mm-hmm. or family member that is doing great things right now with our Frontline Friends feature. So essentially, you could DM us, get get at us at 99.9virginradio.ca or text us at 99999. Tell us about a hero in your life who's doing something to keep the world spinning right now. We're going to honor somebody every single day and give them three months free crave plus and this is awesome a hundred dollars to spend on any food delivery they want to now Jax tell us your story I gotta give a shout out to Seneca College they donated over 900 kilograms uh, of essential supplies so what they did is they uh, they reached out to three GTA hospitals you got South Lake Regional Health Center, North York Regional, and Markham Stouffville Hospital. Uh, they gave them things like surgical gowns, ventilators, N95 respirator masks, mask uh, fit testers, hand sanitizers, a bunch of other cleaning supplies. So shout out to Seneca because they're just they're helping out. I love it. That's awesome. Producer Jesse. I have to shout out Exo House in Toronto, which is run by yeah. uh, the weekend's creative director. They teamed up with the city of Toronto to... Uh, create the TO Artist COVID-19 Response Fund, which will, uh, it's generated over $500,000 so far to help fund artists who are not working during this time. Awesome. So shout out wow. Awesome. I love that. I'm going to leave TJ's for last because I think you're going to really like it. But I'm going to do a quick shout out to Little India Restaurant who is offering free meals to those in need. They say, you know, we love the community. I'm not here to judge or verify each individual based on their needs. However, we do want to supply the community with Um, free meals and with the budget that we have. So we are going to serve you as long as we have the supplies to do it. The restaurant is at 255 Queen Street West in downtown Toronto, right near where we work uh, at, uh, well, under normal circumstances where we work at Queen and John. Yeah, that's right. And and so, you know, if you you are feeling a little bit like, you know what, it's going to be tough to get through this week financially, you're not alone and they can take care of you today. So get down there, 255 Queen Street West. And TJ, I want to give a big shout out to a medical fetish website who donated their entire stock of scrubs. MedFet UK. MedFet! Yeah. Yeah. Were contacted by the National <laughs> Health Service. Uh, and they were, and this is in England, they were trying to find as many medical supplies as they could. And the company didn't identify which hospital they were sent to, but they donated, <laughs> quote, a few sets of scrubs the that were located fish. in the south of England, I presumably it. with the love fronts it. cut out. I'm going to go with people might have an issue knowing that their yeah. scrubs are from there, but whatever. A scrub is a scrub is yeah, a scrub, right? They're right. like, why is it plastic on the inside? By the way, 
Can we just say this out there? Luke, pull down the music for a second. Are scrubs the sexiest uniform? Well, if I've learned anything, I don't want no scrubs. Oh, no, sorry. Come on, I do back. want scrubs in this in this situation. TJ, I, uh, I know that the scrub is a guy on the pastor. Oh side my god, it's ninety nine nine Virgin Radio. Get out of here. Virgin Mornings with what's trending, and this is what's trending right now. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced another major domestic travel restriction. Any Canadian traveler who shows COVID nineteen symptoms will be banned from boarding any domestic flights or trains in an effort to limit the spread of the virus between provinces and cities. Now, that might sound extreme, yeah. but given the circumstance, it's something that absolutely needed to happen. So don't be so surprised with that. Uh, it's back just in time for us to go a little stir-crazy in quarantine. HQ Trivia has returned. Oh, good, good. Now, Adam Wilde, you were on vacation when this news broke, but a few months ago, HQ Trivia, which is an app that you go on, you and people around the world answer, answer trivia questions on a live stream. It was all the rage for a while. Oh my gosh, like two years ago was the biggest thing. Yeah. And then you could win small amounts of money or big amounts depending on the on the pot that day. Well, they went under a few months ago and their last live stream, they were all wasted and huh. just <laughs> just being ridiculous. <sighs> so sure enough, uh, an update, or an update, sorry, a push notification went out on Sunday saying like, hey, we're back. And host Matt Richards was back and nine o'clock every night they're doing a live event with HQ Trivia, it turns out that they got more funding from another party, so pretty cool. Although, I really hope that they still just get hammered. I was going to say, I hope that they drink, because it's like, it was a good show, but now it's a really good show. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I like that. Really good game. Hey, this is what we all were waiting for, right? Facebook is working on a coronavirus reaction button. You know, you can have happy, sad, laughing, angry, and wow face. Well, now you'll have corona face. So, Like, of all things they need to be working on. Yeah, it'll just be like a little button, so you can like tap it. So that means that it's going to be one more thing that your parent or grandparent doesn't know how to use on Facebook. And you'll post this photo of like, oh, take me back to when I could travel. And then your Nana will comment the coronavirus logo and you won't know what that means and neither will she. One of my favorite BuzzFeed articles of all time, and there are a lot of bad ones, but there's, this, this one was fantastic. It was grandparents who haven't figured out how to tag people in oh, posts. Yeah. So oh, instead of gosh. saying at grandma, it, it would turn into at Grandmaster Flash and the Furious yeah. 5. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So it's like 25 different examples of Grandmaster Flash and the Furious 5 getting tagged in grandparent posts, and it was great. My mother always shares really inappropriate memes. I think that she just like wants to show her sister Linda, and then they're just like on her Facebook, yeah. and they're like they're like super vulgar, and it's just like, Mama. Do you know what my parents do? What? They'll post a picture and, and say, like, hey, Linda, and it'll be like a funny <laughs> picture, but then not tag Linda, so it just shows up in their front time. Shouting into the ether, hoping Linda finds it. Linda! My mom always shares those like, it's like, you don't know a mess, a lovely mess until you have kids. It's yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. You're like, what does that mean? Yeah. It's nonsense. And then, it's, and then there's like, obviously there has to be something from like Despicable Me, the little minion. Yeah, it's a minion. It has to be like a minion in it for a, some reason. A minion drinking wine. Yeah. yeah. It's it's that picture of uh, Ron Burgundy, like holding a glass of scotch. Yes. It says Mondays, am I right? Yeah. And like, it, it's no. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Uh, moms. Okay. That's All what's right. trending on TJ. Thanks, TJ. Wow. That's it for us today. Robin's going to take over next. But one thing I do want to remind you of is Frontline Friends. It's a new feature we've launched. And today we honored somebody who has who, who works 12-hour shifts at the mm-hmm. hospital. Her brother called in and said, hey, listen, he she knew that I had bad lungs. And she knew I needed to stay in before this even hit. So he nominated her. He told her story. And you can do the same. 999 to text. 999virginradio.ca. Or you can DM us. Virgin Radio Toronto's Instagram. Or Jackson, TJ, and I whatever you want our instagram dms are open we want to hear who you think deserves a hundred dollars to binge some food and and a three-month uh, subscription to crave for free so they can binge some television too nice little bit of decompression yeah, you know baby. what i mean yeah it's 99.9 virgin radio have a great day love you I-